hello brothers, I hope you in good health. For 2021, Kawasaki gets in on the game with its just announced the XC lineup. There is a new KX250 XC and a new KX450 XC. Those are based on the latest 2021 KX450 and KX250 models. So let's check this out. First, let's talk about the all-new 2021 KX450 XC. This bike has been designed as the flagship model of the KX XC lineup. While the all-new 2021 KX250 XC has been designed for the rising star in the XC2 250 Pro or Pro 2 class, and built from the legendary motocross winning pedigree of the KX250 motorcycle. The KX450 XC powered by 449cc DOHC 4-stroke single-cylinder water-cooled engine with optimized engine mapping and setting for the off-road racing, while its brother the 2021 KX250 XC powered by a 249cc DOHC 4-stroke single-cylinder water-cooled engine. Both of KX450 XC and KX250 XC engine features an electric start which is activated by the push of the button and powered by a compact lithium-ion battery. Kawasaki broke top-level road racing technology to those bikes fell straight, using design from Kawasaki World Superbike engineers. It used a finger follower valve actuation. The intake and egg house valves are formed from lightweight titanium while a bridge box piston used the same design as the Master Energy Kawasaki Race Team's factory motorcycles. For the chassis, the KX250 XC bike built with the same chassis as KX450 XC. The frame's lightweight construction is composed of forget, extrude, and cast parts. A lightweight alloy swing arms is constructed of a cast front section and twin tapered hydroform sparks in a raw aluminum finish but there is a difference on suspension parts. The KX450 XC features high-performance Showa 49mm coil spring front forks with A-kit technology, featuring large diameter inner tubes and Casima coating on the fork tubes. On the rear, the Showa compact design rear shock boasts A-kit technology with large diameter compression adjusters, improving on the high-frequency movement found when racing cross-country. While the KX250 XC equipped with a high-performance KYB 48mm coin spring fork fox, the forks enable to use the large damping pistons for smooth action and firm damping. Also, Kashima coating on the fork tubes help prevent wear and abrasion while optimizing performance. While at the rear, the KYB shocks features dual compression adjustability, allowing the high-speed and low-speed damping to be tuned separately. The braking system of the bike is similar too. They equipped with an oversized 270mm pedal shape front brake while the rear is equipped with a 240mm pedal shape braking rotor complete with a Nissan master cylinder and caliper setup and featuring XC specific pads. Both of KX450 XC and KX250 XC are equipped with many specific cross-country components such as the 21 inches front an 18 inches rear wheel combination paired with Dunlop Geomax AT81 tires. Other cross country specific components include the durable plastic skid plate and side stand. For the price, the Kawasaki KX450 XC costs 9,599 US dollars, while the KX250 XC costs 8,399 US dollars. Those bikes will be available on summer 2020. So that's all brothers about Kawasaki KX450 XC and KX250 XC. Triumph are working on a new speed triple that will see a brand new engine bringing with a large increase in the firepower as well as the house of other massive change. Although a popular machine, Triumph have lost ground in the naked bike market against triple bike superbikes like Ducati's V4 Street Fighters and horsepower monster like KTM Super Duke R. Triumph will be hoping all this change help to re-establish their iconic machine. 
At the heart of the bike, it will have a trickle of the existing engine. To complete with a best Triumph, will have boost capacity, likely to around 1200cc, as well as copy the new street triple internals to shed some weight. Given the competition, we imagine Triumph will be aiming for around 175 brake horsepower as well as good torque for the new triple. As this bike has to be ready for Euro 5 when it's released, Triumph have fitted with a brand new low slung egg house, where with the new motor is an all new suspension setup. This particular model has ohlins, suggesting we are seeing the R is being tested. Most interesting is the rear suspension setup with the shock that now directly mount to the swing arm. As with most fast bike now, braking is courtesy for Brembo. Next, the second news comes from Motosaigon.vn. The news is about mid-range superbike Honda CBR 400R. The 2020 version will be only distributed in Japan. The sport bike Honda CBR 400R 2020 has just been officially launched in Japan. They also say not only Yamaha and Kawasaki own mid-range sport bike currently available in market. Sources have previously revealed that Honda is also developing CBR 400R in this segment. And recently, Honda has officially launched the CBR 400R model exclusively for the Japanese domestic market. Notably, the appearance of the Honda CBR 400R is quite similar to the CBR 500R from the sharp fairing to the ergonomic design providing a comfortable and sporty riding posture. And currently, the Honda CBR 400R 2020 will only be sold in the Japanese domestic market. There are no plans to distribute to other markets. Meanwhile, CBR 500R may be an alternative to CBR 400R in markets for other than Japan. Because the immediate CBR 400R will represent Honda in the mid-range sport bike segment, competing with rifles Yamaha and Kawasaki. And then the third news comes from Bautan.org. The news is about BMW Motorrad sees higher Asia sales for June 2020. Despite a general downturn in global economic due to the COVID-19 pandemic, BMW Motorrad seems to be bucking to the trend with increased sales in Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific. For the month of June 2020, BMW Motorrad saw a sales increase of 17.3% compared to the same month last year, translating to a total of 2,997 motorcycles sold. The sales number covers Australia, China, India, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Russia, and Thailand, which BMW Motorrad says is pleasingly robust. Across Europe, sales saw a similar monthly spike with 13,937 motorcycles moving up the Sharon floor, a 2,684 units or 23.9% increase. Then the fourth news comes from Visserdown. It's about MotoGP, that is, George Lorenzo just moved a step closer to a Ducati MotoGP 2021 ride. George Lorenzo makes the first public acknowledgement that he could be back on the 2021 MotoGP grid next season as he confirms talks have start with Ducati. The runner-up to Marc Marquez for the past three seasons, Dovioso has had an offer on the table from Ducati for some time but has refused to sign it because he doesn't think it represents what he is worth. It means the second factory Ducati is now one of the last seats to be decided for 2021, with Ducati hoping to get Dovioso to react when it began to casually Lorenzo as a solid plan be moved. Instead, a stubborn Dovioso called Ducati's bluffy by saying he'd sooner take a year out than put his signature to a bad deal. As a result, Ducati is actioning to early stage of Plan B if it indeed left with no other option than to welcome back Lorenzo, who enjoyed a three-race winning two years team there. Well, he has been quick to play down the weight of the rumors in recent weeks. It appears this is the first formal acknowledgement that Lorenzo is indeed thinking of racing again in 2021. Then the last news comes from Young Machine. The 2020 Kawasaki Ninja ZX250R color variation and price forecast. This new Kawasaki ZX25R will have mesmerizing sound. It has ultra high speed range approaching to 20,000 RPM. According to the information, the new ZX25R will be available in three colors. 
it seems that KRT colors will surely appear. But the other two colors are unknown. With regard to the price, the KRT color that comes standard with a shifter is 990,000 yen. Other colors do not seem to be equipped with shifter, and it seems to be cheaper by tens of thousands of yen. Stay healthy brothers, hope you enjoy this video.